Another example of a quantum system that measures uh, using its quantum properties is a magnetometer. So one classic example here is the SQUID, the super quantum or superconducting quantum interference device. And this is essentially a current loop that uses these Josephson, Josephson junctions to enforce uh, the current through it. So the idea here is as magnetic field passes through this loop, it induces a current, that current can be measured. However, there has to be a specific amount of voltage to surpass this, these Josephson junctions leading to a measurable uh, tip in a current. By measuring the current through this device, you're able to detect a very, very small, precise uh, change in your uh, magnetic field. Other quantum systems such as spin systems are also being applied in terms of measuring magnetic fields. Note that the squid depends is directional, so it depends on which, um, on its orientation will depend on uh, the magnitude of the magnetic field it uh, measures, whereas atomic spin systems are scalar magnetometers, meaning they just spit out a magnitude given um, a certain, uh, given the position and their orientation does not matter. Applications of quantum magnetometers include material science, geology, biology, navigation, and positioning.